Hey guys, it's Sensei Me two one two three four five back for some more Let's Play Oblivion. In the last episode, we tried to rescue a very important person to the Mages Guild, except they turned him into a dread zombie before we could have done anything about it. Anyway, let's talk to How did the Archmage for our next quest. There is quest. an urgent matter which requires your personal attention. This task falls to you and only you. All right. Well, what is it? Are you prepared to begin? I am ready. I'm Count Hasseldor right. of Skingrad has contacted the council. He claims to have information that is Not vital him to again. us. He has requested that you personally travel to Skingrad to obtain this information. I cannot stress how important it is that our relationship with Hasseldor be preserved. I expect you to visit him immediately. Ah, uh, I don't want to talk to Hasseldor again. The last time we tried to talk to Hasseldor, we got ambushed by necromancers. Remember that, guys? Oh, at any rate, I am really not looking forward to this quest in particular. This is going to be interesting. Essentially, this is... I'll, I'll, just, I'll just leave it at this. This is a quest that, if you screw it up, you're going to be stuck on for a long time. Because if you screw this quest up, then... Uh, just don't screw this quest up. At any rate, we're going to have to go to Count Hasseldor's castle. And it's taking forever to load the stupid place. Hurry up, loading screen. Alright, here we go. And now we have another loading screen. Are you serious? Hurry up. So one problem I have with this game is the loading screens break the flow of the gameplay so much. Like, every single time you open a door, oh, you have to load. I'm sorry. At least it gives you something to read while you're loading, though. You are here to see the Count, yes? He has been expecting you. Please, wait here. I shall inform him of your arrival. Alright, perfect. Anyway, unfortunately... This person here, Hal Louise, is going to take her dear time getting the count. So, I'll just cut to when the count comes down here. It's about time. Uh, why are you coming to me again for? Fresh game. Alright. The count is on his way. Please remain here and be patient. Oh, come on. I'm recording right now. I don't have enough time to be patient. Whatever. I'll cut again. Teach me you something. shut up, lizard. I'm already mad at enough at you as it is. Here's the count now. Finally. After. Welcome, Guild Mage. We meet again, although in different circumstances. I fear this time you may find the results no more to your liking than Great. the last. Less so, perhaps. Ugh. The information I have for your guild will not be met with smiles and handshakes, I fear. Alright then, well, just, just talk to me about this information, I don't care. I have called you here because, from our previous encounter, I believe you can be trusted. Consider the implications of that, as you handle a small matter for me. Surprised? Nothing is for free, mage. There is a small nuisance I would have you deal with before I tell you what I know. One good turn deserves another, after all. Alright. Well, why can't you just tell me now? And miss the opportunity? To take advantage of your help? I think not. I assure you, the information I have will be worth It better be, because I hate this quest. What's the problem? It is a minor situation, to be sure, but neither I nor my guards can become directly involved. A nest of vampires has sprung up in Blood Crust Cavern, southeast of the town. They are a threat to the town and must be eliminated. Their presence has drawn a group of vampire hunters to town, following rumors of vampires in Skingrad. While I do not believe my identity has been compromised, I do not wish to take any chances, and so cannot act on either matter. You, however, 
can act with impunity, and so will take care of this for me. Then, I will tell you what I know. Alright. Well, let's talk about Bloodcrest Cavern just really quick. What do you wish to know about it? Um, where is the cavern? The cavern is a short distance east of the castle. Far enough from town that few residents have reason to pass by it, thankfully. Alright, why are the vampires there? I assure you, I am not responsible for them. I would never be so careless. Where there are mindless animals, predators are never far behind. This is not the first time such a thing has happened, however. Oh, really? On some level, they're aware of my presence. Whether they covet all that I have, or simply wish to see it destroyed, I do not know. They have given in to their instincts, and are little more than animals. They need to be exterminated, one way or another. Alright then, never mind, whatever. Very oh. I shall have return. This quest is fun. Basically, what we have to do is we need to go find these vampire hunters first. You want to find the vampire hunters first. Do not screw this up. Do not go to Bloodcrest Cavern first and kill all the vampires first. You want to take the vampire hunters with you and then you want to do nothing while the vampire hunters fight the vampires and then hope that they die and otherwise you end up having to murder them somehow in the middle of town, which is not fun. So, at any rate, we need to go over here. Here's one of the vampire hunters. No, you're not. Never mind. You are not one of the vampire hunters. What am I talking about? Anyway, let's just go find the leader of these dudes. Some say that certain members of the Thieves Guild buy stolen goods, blah, blah, blah. We will get to that many an episode away from now. Alright, somewhere... How do you? We need to find their leader. Take me to your leader. No, we do not want to go out there yet. You want to stay away from Bloodcrest Cavern for now. Where are the vampire hunters? I do believe their leader usually hangs around the chapel area. Apparently he's not here right now. Let's just follow our red arrow and see if that leads us to anything. Ah, this led us to the hotel they are staying at. Yeah, this is a quest that you absolutely have to do correctly. If you do this quest incorrectly, you will be stuck on it for so long and you will hate it. And hey, look, here's the vampire hunters now, like Blade all four of them. Bone. Speak to me. Um, we need to find the one that is the wood elf. This short one here, Eridor. Come on. Um. Ah, the pathfinding NPCs are so terrible. Talk to you. Oh, no. Not another one. Ahem. Citizen of Skingrad, please be advised that I am here on official business and wish no harm. Oh, forget it. Let me guess. You're worried about what my men and I are doing here in town, right? Um... Yes, that's right. You have my assurance that my men and I will do everything in our power to keep the people of Skingrad safe. We're here to help. If you have seen anything unusual, particularly anything implying the presence of the undead here in town, please report it at once. Well, I have information for you. All I care about is where the vampires are hiding. I know they're here somewhere. You know where they're holed up? Yes, Bloodcrust Cavern. Is that so? Well, perhaps we'll have to pay them a little visit. Thanks for the tip, friend. All right. Now we are just going to have to follow them around until they leave town and head off for Bloodcrest Cavern. I will probably just skip till then, because these guys don't look like they're going anywhere for a while. Uh, you can see why I hate this quest already. Anyway, 
time for cutting. Of course, you know what, guys? I just got an even better idea. Here's what we want to do. Why don't we just head off to Blood Crust Cavern ourselves? And from there, we can just wait for these guys to show up. Anyway, they are going to take their dear sweet time, so... We're probably going to be waiting for a while. At least I'll be waiting for a while. You will you won't have to wait, because I'm going to cut, but... Do not rush into Blood Crust Cavern before the Vampire Hunters. They take a long time to get there, but do not do it. If you kill all of the vampires before the Vampire Hunters get there, then all of a sudden now you need to murder all the Vampire Hunters. When you could just sick the Vampire Hunters on the vampires, and they're vastly outnumbered by the vampires and will stand no chance against them. So you can just let the vampires do their thing and kill all four of them, and then you're good as opposed to having to murder the poor guys. You can already tell which one is more preferable, I hope. So let's just head down to Blood Crust Cavern. We can already see it on the uh, compass down there. I have no idea who that person is, nor do I care. Let's just head over to the cavern. Man, he calls this far away from town. Yeah, right. At any rate, we're going to be stuck waiting here for a while, so time for more cutting. Are they here yet? Um, hang on guys, let me check really quick. I think they may have already gone inside the cavern. We will see really fast. Fatigue affects how good you are at combat and magic. Anyway, let's just turn invisible really quick. And make sure that these guys really are here doing their thing. Looks like they are. Anyway, we're just going to stay here invisible and do nothing to help. We're just going to watch them die, basically. I'll send your bloody soul straight to Sovngarde. Well, people don't know what Sovngarde is in this game. Alright, looks like one of them has died. Good, good. I see these guys will never kill all the vampires, so this works perfectly. In fact, they seem to be having a hard enough time with just this one. There we go, they're dying. Haha. They all died. The vampire hunters in Skingrad have been killed. And we it's just so let the vampires do it. What's anyway, it? now we'll kill them ourselves. Bam! You were useful in killing the vampire hunters, but I do believe now I'm going to kill you. Die! Creature. Anyway. Now let's go and find the rest of these nooblets. They may have been able to deal with the vampire hunters fairly easily, but they will not deal with me so easily. The great forest was cleared for agriculture around Zzz, dead. Yes, run to me. Or not, I'll ju just stand there and I'll zap you too. That works. Whatever works for you and me. Anyway, these guys have vampire dust on them. I should remember that. Got that. And got that. Go up here and oh, lols! He turned around. I'm about to show him how bad of an idea that was. No, oh, getting closer and bam! Whoa! What in the world are you doing? 
Ah, uh, you can't see me anymore. What you gonna do about that? Ha <laughs> ha. All right. How many more are left? A much more dangerous Lol, vampires having civilized conversations. No, crossing me was clearly the last mistake you'll ever make. Anyway, they've been killed. You want to make sure you do that quest exactly the way I just did it. Because if you don't... Let's just say it's going to suck if you don't. Anyway, one of the vampire hunters had... Or one of the vampires slash vampire hunters. It was kind of hard to tell who was who in that mess back there. One of them had a full suit of glass armor, and I want that. I do want that. Anyway, or at least he had a glass curious. Um, I will take the glass curious for myself. And let's see. Yeah, my... Elvin Curious does not have any um, special effects. So we will wear the new glass Curious. And I suppose we can just drop this. I have enough money already. Uh, da 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 dum dum. Hey, look, a treasure chest. And it had gold in it. Yummy! Anyway, we'll just be leaving this area. We've done all we can here. But yeah, thank the Lord above I managed to do that correctly. Because the last time I ran a file through, I did that wrong, and it was and it sucked a lot. You, you just don't want to do that quest wrong. Okay, now we can just go back to Castle Skingrad and tell him that the vampires killed the vampire hunters, and then I killed the vampires. So, yeah. Whatever works. Anyway... Oh, four came up for you. I didn't contract that, did I? I kind of want to make sure I didn't contract that, because that's bad if you do. Um, it's kind of hard to tell whether or not I did. Do 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 do. I'm pretty sure I didn't. But just in case, we're going to use Cure Disease. You don't want to have polyphoric hemophilia unless you want to turn into a vampire. And then when you want to not be a vampire anymore because everyone's just hassling you, you have to go through a long, painstaking quest in order to cure your vampirism. And that kind of sucks. So anyway, it looks like everyone's asleep right now, so we'll just be awaiting again. Because people sleep too much in this game, honestly. Okay, thank the lord we did that quest correctly. Oh, you have no idea how much trouble that caused me the first time I played this game. Alright, let's talk to you. Good. You have completed your tasks for the Count, have you not? Then, please... Wait here while I inform you. Great. Now you're going to do more slow walking over to where the count is. Ugh. More cutting. Yes. Do, 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 Yes, you come down here and tell me that I have to wait even longer, I bet. The Count is on his way. Urgh. Whatever, bro. Or... I don't even... <sighs> Hurry up, Count. Any time now would be great. Ah, here he comes now. Just taking your sweet time, are you? Come here and chat with me. So the work is complete. Now we can discuss the information I have for you. Yay, so about this information. Your guild 
does not fully appreciate the danger which quickly approaches. Hopefully when you return to them, their eyes will be opened. The necromancers are a sign of things to come. An old acquaintance of the guild has come to Cyrodiil. They are answering his call. While I do not know for quite what purpose he has arrived, I believe the Guild of Mages is in great danger. Mana Marco has returned. Oh dear. Nearly invincible, he has established himself somewhere in the north of Cyrodiil. This is all that I know. See to it that your leader, Traven, learns this as soon as possible. I have no love for your guild, but I have no wish to see it destroyed either. All right, well. Oh, blah. Whatever. Anyway, Mana Marco. Anyway, for those of you who are curious, Mana Marco was actually the villain in Elder Scrolls 2, so this is a pretty big deal. He is an old and powerful necromancer. Traven will recognize the name even if you do not. All right. Return to your king. Anyway, let's go back to Archmage Draven and tell him that, great, one of the oldest and most vile necromancers in Tamrielic history has come back and he wants to destroy the Mage's Guild. Just yummy. Alright, any time now would be nice. Here we go. Now let's go have a chat with Traven. Except, wait, we've still got two more loading screens between us and Traven. Wonderful. Greetings, Warlock. I'm going to continue to have a problem with that for the rest of eternity. Afternoon. How fair thee, friend? Um, things are not good. Things are not good. What news from Skingrad? I assume you've spoken to Count Hasseldor? Yeah, it's not good. What? Is that possible? This is grave news indeed. I had, perhaps foolishly, believed that necromancy was all but stamped out in Cyrodiil. It seems I couldn't have been more mistaken. I shall need to consult the Council as to how to proceed with this situation. Thank you for the information. It may save many lives. All right, well then, I'm assuming we just have to, uh... What let's just talk to you again. My attention is focused on the Council right now. I will need you soon enough. I need more time. All right, then. Whatever, whatever, bro. Looks like there's, according to that, there's not going to be much more we can do in this episode. Well met. Because I know there was a whole lot of cutting, so my timer right now is very inaccurate. Let's see. Let's talk about advancement. You okay, not... fine. Whatever. Tasks. Your tasks now come directly from Archmage Trap. Oh, well, apparently there's... There's nothing more we can do for now. Thanks for asking. So I suppose, since we can't Good do anything, Greetings, this is Sensei Mewtwo 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, ending this gaming lesson.